October is the month of spooks and blood, so I thought I should share a silly bloody tale of mine. One day in college, a sign-up sheet for donating blood was passed around. I had never participated in the blood drive before, but since I had nothing else going on, I thought I'd give it a shot. I'm a positive, which next to A positive, is the most common blood type. Having nine siblings with the same blood type, I figured I should donate. If anything happened to them, I'd want them to get the care they needed, and I'm sure they would do the same for me. That's highly debatable. As I was saying, I found the blood drive site and it got all set up in the chair. The nurse asked which arm would be better to draw blood from. Oh, right. I forgot I was one of those people where it's almost impossible to locate my veins. They're just so freaking small. It runs in the family. Doctors usually have to prod around until they find one. This one time a nurse tried to find one for like 10 minutes and then just decided to stab my hand instead. I usually have to tell them to use what's called a butterfly needle. It's a very thin needle used on kids and it has these little flaps that make it look like a butterfly. However, you can't use one when donating blood because it would just take way too long. The nurse poked around for a little bit and finally got the needle in. He was very apologetic though because I would get a little bruise from him poking around in my arm, but I assured him it would be fine. I was donating blood so this would count as a battle scar. I was just happy to donate something useful. He chuckled and said, well, that's a good way to think of it. As I sat there waiting for the bag to fill, he decided to go on break and have a different nurse take over. The bag was about three-fourths full when all of a sudden the blood stopped flowing. The new nurse came over and attempted to start it again. She was very quick to pull the needle out of my arm. It was already a hassle to get it in there in the first place, so I wasn't looking forward to a second time. Uh, you know what you're doing, right? Look, honey, I'm the nurse. Let me do my job. Are you sure about that? She stuck the needle back on my arm and started moving it side to side trying to find a vein. The deeper she shoved the needle in, the more my arm hurt. She knows what she's doing, huh? I was studying nursing in college, so blood and needles don't really bother me. However, the feeling and sight of her jabbing a needle in my arm was becoming unbearable to watch. Uh, that, uh, kind of... hurts. I was trying to keep my composure until I started getting dizzy. My face went pale and I started to pass out. The other people working noticed and ran over. They laid me down and started asking me questions to make sure I wouldn't pass out. After the second question, I was unable to muster enough strength to even speak. I was so tired, I was just ready to die. Like those times where you get a sharp pain in your abdomen and think, This is it. And then a few minutes go by and you're like... Oh. I was ready for the sweet release of death when one of the nurses shoved a bendy straw in my mouth. They force-fed me apple juice, and after a few minutes, I was able to come back. When the original doctor saw what happened, he freaked out. Because I didn't completely fill the bag, they didn't even know if they could use it. All I got out of it was a bag of Cheez-Its and a huge bruise covering most of my arm. I hope you guys like this silly, sad tale. Um... But anyway, donating blood is important. If you can, I highly suggest doing it. It helps save so many lives. So please donate whenever you can in your community. And peace. <laughs> Having nine siblings... Siblings? <laughs> okay. So just say, just start mumbling on... Eh. Mm -hmm. I'm, a little, I'm a little busy. Mm -hmm. no, Maybe that's good. I'm jealous! Yeah. Well, I mean... Okay, I'll do it!